Okay, Adam, um, long journey to Brighton Sea, uh, long journey home, but we go home with all three points. Your, your thoughts on the game? No, it's, it, it's a tough, tricky, tricky tie on it. Uh, you know, when you come in, you've got the journey and, you know, they, they make it difficult here. So, um, yeah, to come away with three points um, is important. A clean sheet as well, um, you know, extra importance to, to how we've done today. Um, yeah, on another day, I think we're 3-0 up at half-time. I think Miki has a good header. Um, Cal Keeley has a good good chance, uh, first half. Uh, another day, you're 3-0, and, um, you know, it's, it's done at half-time pretty much. But, yeah, it didn't work out that way. Um, we had to keep going. And I thought the, the way the lads um, come out second half and really took the game to them, I don't think, you know, we let them come out of their half for the first 10 minutes or so. Um, and, and it was the same on Tuesday, to be fair. Um, so, no, all in all, you, you've got to be happy. A 3 0 away win. Um, and I think it backs up the point on Tuesday and uh, makes that look a good point and a good week. Yeah. Um, the, the only thing I noticed on the commentary, like you said, was that those sort of chances in the first half. But did, again, we're going back to Tuesday, did we not make as many as we usually do, chances around, in and around? <laughs> Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. They got a lot of lot of bodies behind the ball, didn't they? Um, so, yeah, when the game's like that, uh, you get a free header six yards out, and you don't hit the target. You know, you've got to take them yeah. kind of opportunities. Um, you know, Cal's spun and, and took it quite quickly, but I think they'd be disappointed if they didn't hit the target. Um, but you know, it, it, I'm always going to be ultra critical and, and harsh on the players and, and look for that perfection because. I feel that's what this team should aspire to. Uh, great, great group, great team, good players, and you know I want them to keep pushing. And yeah. you know, like I said to them, the scary thing is I think there's still more to come from them. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, there is more to come. And like we said, we keep thinking there's going to be a team that we're just going to absolutely demolish sooner rather than later. And hopefully, it's Bognor soon. <laughs> but. In Injury-wise, anything we've got to worry about today going into next week's game against Lewis? No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, like the only thing you, you would say, if it's three, four, just after half-time, then you could maybe rest one or two players, but it wasn't to be today. And to be fair, they all want to be out there playing. Um, you know, I think we've got a really good bench. We've got no Coxie, no Jasper, no Alex Parsons uh, today, and, and still got that kind of quality that can come off on the bench. And I thought they had a real good impact today. Um, Ty come on, I thought give us some energy and showed little bits of, of what he's about and we've got Mo coming on and you know he's a different type of player to what we've got so he's an exciting one um, and then we've got Pat, Will and Buddy uh, sat there and, and, and with the injuries that we've got um, that can't make it as well so you know really really happy it's uh, the whole the whole squad's going to be needed we've got another game Tuesday so we'll have to see how it is but you know hopeful that no one's picked up anything uh, too too strenuous tonight. Yeah, obviously you mentioned Margate, I've, I totally went out my head the Margate game. Um, so Tuesday night, another, another long journey, always a tough place to go Margate. Yeah. I think last time we went there we beat them 3-1. Um, so would, would it be changes from the team today or do you think they'll be fresh enough to go again? No, yeah, we have to have to look at it, see what we've got, see if we've got any players back and um, you know, I think Aaron took one late on there on his, on his shin but I'm hoping that'll be alright. Um, you know, other than that, like I say, I'm hoping that we'll have a clean bill of health and um, all will be well. But yeah, we'll have to assess it. And, and, and a good thing that we have got is if we do need to make changes, uh, it doesn't seem to affect us too much. And, um, you know, that's one of the really encouraging signs that we've got in this group. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at it. But, um, you know, hopefully Tutty might be back from his illness as well. Another one that's missing. Um, so he could be in contention to play as well. Um, so yeah, we'd be we'll have no complaints about now. Like I say, another Tuesday, another long journey. Um, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, not complaining. It is what it is. But I don't remember any London club, Kent club, coming to us on a Tuesday night so far. I know folks that have got to come now. Um, but you know, like, it seems like we've done five or six of them already, gone into London or into Kent on a Tuesday. And um, but. You know, that is what it is. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's hard work, isn't it? And it must take its toll because, like you say, you're sitting on the coach for a long time. And I know you, you generally you've got a Tuesday night game and then you're, you're back at it again on a Wednesday driving the academy. So it must, it must take its toll on, on, on yourself and, and squad players. No, yeah, myself, I absolutely love what I do. I've got a 
very privileged to be in the position I'm in and working with such good players at a brilliant club. Um, so yeah, myself, you know, every game, or sh there was a game every day of the week to be honest with, with the group that we've got. But um, yeah, like the players, it does it does take its toll. Um, you know, it, uh, I see, I didn't see, but I've been told about grumbles from fans about us only getting a point and there's two points dropped to Haringey and stuff like that. I know they lost heavily today to Folkestone, but you know, at home it's a different opposition, you know, proposition for any team to go to Harangi, especially on a Tuesday. We didn't get there till seven. Yeah. It's a real, real tough, tough ask. And I think, you know, I'm pleased that the lads have got three points today because it makes it look, Tuesday look like a good point in the end. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see you on Tuesday night. Thanks yeah, a lot, Adam. No, I'd just like to obviously oh, thank the supporters for coming, you know, to, to make this journey after Harangi as well and, you know, to turn up in numbers, out seeing the opposition again and, you know, they really did spur us on. Yeah, so noisy, bunch. A noisy bunch. Noisy <laughs> bunch. I'd say it's just, yeah, can't thank them enough because it's, yeah. it does, you know, it's the whole day, it's time and money that they're giving up to come support us. So it is much really appreciated and, uh, you know, hope to see as many as we can now on Tuesday. There will be a few. Yeah, okay, no, we'll see you Tuesday, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks.